I am joined by Hoboken resident Patricia Waiters, who is a candidate on the ballot for second ward council person in the upcoming November election. But she is also on the ballot on the same day for the Board of Education for a trustee seat. And I'm sure everyone knows, and if you don't, you cannot hold two elected positions in the state of New Jersey unless you're grandfathered in, uh, as an example, the mayor of Union City, Brian Stack. He's a mayor and he's a state senator. But if you're starting off new in an election, that can't be the case. So I wanted the public to be aware of that. Ms. Waiters, thank you for joining me on Hudson TV. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Jeff. I appreciate you're you. You're very welcome. I understand, having said what I just said, I understand that you wanted to make an announcement today uh, to talk to the members of the uh, the sixth ward, the residents of the sixth ward. What did you want to tell them today? Well, it's the second ward. I'm running. I'm sorry, in the, the second, second ward. ward. My mistake. The second against, ward. I'm running in the second ward against two other opponents: Tiffany Fisher, which is also the incumbent, and a new lady. Mahler Decker, which I did have an opportunity to sit and talk to her. And I also had an opportunity to speak with her briefly at a rent control leveling meeting. And I wanted to put my support behind either one of those young ladies to continue the great work in the second ward, because I want to put my focuses on the Hoboken Board of Education trustee seat, because we do need representation and diversity on that board of education, which is important. But also there's been a lot of uh, supporters in the second ward. I have lived there for 20 years that have supported me in the past and voted for me. And with all due fairness, I mean, we have so many serious issues. I want somebody to support that second ward that's going to continue doing what I did and what I have done in the past, which is being an advocate for them on all matters of concern. Um, I stay involved in the second ward with every issue from the rats to the flooding and to whatever concerns they have. And that's why I want to put my support behind one of my opponents so I could put my focus on one. Okay, so just so the residents in the second ward uh, are aware, you're supporting either one of your two other opponents. Your name will still appear on the a council ballot in the second ward because that deadline has passed. Ballots have been printed. So your name isn't going to be removed. You're still going to be on there, but you are letting the residents know that you're supporting either Tiffany Fisher, the incumbent councilwoman or your other opponent, Marla Decca for the ward seat. And you are going to concentrate your efforts on winning a board of education seat on the same day in November. Yes, yes, Jeff, yes. What led I just think it's important to know, the residents should know. We have a debate depending, um, I think, wait, depending on what day, because I have two things going on that day. But anyway, we have a debate coming up, and I hope that I can appear so I can be, you know, give more of a clarification as to what have been done in the past under Mrs. Fisher, which is raise a lot of concerns. I also got an opportunity to knock on a lot of doors in the second ward. So I was putting my my support behind Mrs. Fisher up until the fact that I feel it's fair, it's un it was unfair to the residents because we didn't have much knowledge of nothing about Ms. Decker other than she lived in our ward. So I did get an opportunity to talk to her when she reached out to me and I was contemplating Ms. Fisher, but she hadn't gotten back in touch with me. Okay, let, let me ask you this. Um, you've made this decision today where you want to concentrate your efforts on the Board of Ed seat as opposed to the, the council ward seat. You filed petitions to run in both initially. Why all of a sudden now have you come to this realization in your own mind that I don't want the council seat. I want to concentrate on the, the, the school board seat. Why now all of a sudden? Jeff, I'm so glad you asked that question because also that happened with one of my opponents um, for the Board of Ed, uh, Sheila Delala. The same thing happened. She actually waited four hours before the filing cutoff date. However, I've been, I was one of the first candidates that picked up petitions with Jerry Law for the second ward. I wasn't really into really running for the Board of Ed 
up until I found out there was nobody running. And then a lot of parents from the fourth ward kept coming to me and wanted me to run for the Board of Ed. So initially, I was one of the first candidates that picked up for my ward. I also knocked on over 800 doors in person, and they could vouch for that. I knocked on most of the applied. I went down to Hudson T, and I spoke with the residents. And they was like, Pat, we know who you are. We know you've been running for years. And they was actually willing to support me. So I was back then too, then about a week later, I went and put in for the board ahead. But I first initially picked up petitions, one of the first candidates, and I started servicing my petitions, getting them signed the old fashioned way, the real way, and um, knocking on doors and meeting with the residents and putting their concerns over politics. I wasn't drafted. I wasn't asked by the mayor or nobody to be there, you know, to go on a ticket or none of them asked me to run. I did it on my own. And well, Ms. Waiters, I want to thank you for joining me on Hudson TV to clarify your, your current position, your current feelings, and to let the residents that live in the second ward in the city of Hoboken know what your plans are. Best of luck in your, your efforts at gaining a Board of Ed trustee seat uh, in no the November election. Thank you for being with me. Jeff, Jeff, thanks for having it. It's so good to see you. Like I told you in the council meeting when I saw you the other night, thank God that you're back. And at least we know we can count on you to get the word out. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you for those words. I appreciate that. Good luck. You're a wonderful man. Okay. Thank you.